games, 150 league appearances, not the ideal way to celebrate that milestone. Disappointed? Yeah, you know, we're pretty frustrated. We, um, we played a lot of rugby out there today and, you know, at times we played really well. Um, we just, you know, we didn't quite take the opportunities that we had and, you know, quite finish things off. Um, um, but, you know, it's just frustrating, but, you know, we're, we're trying to play positively, trying to play rugby, um, and it didn't quite come for us today. Um, but, you know, it's, it's great to get 150 league games, and I'm very lucky to have been here that long. Um, it's just, you know, frustrating not to get a result on top of it. The last few weeks, uh, obviously, small margins in the games against Gloucester Bath, and today, you could easily have come out with three wins from these th three games. Yeah, definitely, but, you know, that's how the Premiership is this year. Um, teams are very tight, very close, and everybody's beating everybody. You, know, you put a couple of wins together and all of a sudden you could be you know, in the top sort of four or five. You lose a couple and all of a sudden you're sort of dropping down to seven or eight. So you know, we're, at least we're competitive in every game um, and we'll, you know, we'll just try to add things to our game and make sure that um, in the next few weeks we put, we put a bit of a run together that gets us back far up and firing all cylinders. I was going to say, Rob won't go in there and, and beat you up or, or anything like that after a, a result like that. Um, he'll talk about it and you've got the next four weeks the cup to really just refocus the attentions again and then sale in, in a month's time will be massive. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, we're pretty performance based and you know, we've put a lot of hard, hard effort and hard work into games and I think that was out there today. It just didn't quite come, come off for us. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll focus on the little things that we need to work on and things that hurt us out there today and you know, we'll have a big focus on them and, and uh, work on that in the future. It's been a magnificent time for you all the years you've been at the club. Pirates was your debut and that. But do you pinch yourself a little bit now when you look at the fixture list? Like you've played the three Premiership games, next two games are Claremont and Leinster. It's, it's quite a rise you've been through. No, it's great. You know, I think, I think um, you know we always wanted to be a Premiership club, and even when we were in the Championship, we we took ourselves to Premiership standards, and you know the players did that, and we've always aimed for that and strive for that. And you know it's just where we want to be and where we want to play, and we're trying to be competitive and. You know, um, push on and keep improving every season, every week. Um, hopefully, we can carry on doing that. Claremont next week, though, it's a mouthful for fixture, isn't it? To, to just think about. Yeah, definitely. You know, I haven't thought too much about it yet, but um, obviously, it's one of the toughest places to go in Europe. You know, if not in world rugby, um, but it'll be a fantastic experience for the guys that are involved. Um, and you, know, you just got to enjoy those experiences. They don't come around very often. Um, you know, they're probably one of the best club sides in the world. So, you know, you, you can only enjoy it. Ali said earlier in the week that the Claremont game here was one of your better performances this season, even though you, you lost. Um, is it, are you learning as players from, from these big game experiences? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think the lesson from Claremont, we were in at half-time and then you know, the two or three half-chances they had, they, they fully exploited and you know, turned them into seven-pointers. And you know, they did that really quickly within sort of a five, ten-minute spell. But you know, that, that's rugby at the highest level um, in club competition. That's what you've got to be prepared to do. And, you know, you're learning all the time each week and taking little things here and there and hopefully we'll be a better side for it. Mm -hmm.